Hello viewers, Super GT here. Welcome back to another installment of the kart racing series I've been doing this year. For this one, round number four, we turn up at Glanny Gores in Wales for what would prove to be a very interesting couple of days. Now, the first big thing, of course, is the switch of class. Now in the Rotax class, after previously doing X30, Throughout the weekend, it would be rather tricky with mixed conditions, and there would also be a couple of Shadow Realm entries. The local population were sure to get their money's worth. But let's get into this then, shall we? Uh, let's have a look at the cart and then the track. Hello, viewers. Super GT here. I'm in sunny Wales for round four of the uh, UKC. Big change, big change of this one, which is I am now in the Rotax class instead of X30. Let's go and have a look at the car and I'll tell you more about it. Yeah, so this is the Rotax. We've moved over from X30. X30, we had a disappointing grid. It's the same again for this round because there's only like 10 people and there's like 25 in Rotax. We're now in this, a new adventure. I'm gonna give it a good go. Let's go and have a look at the track. Here is the track. There it is. It's, it's right there. I'm stood on it. This is Glanny Gores in Wales, a very long, long way away from home for me. Let's go and have a look at where I can potentially crash. In order to maximize views, I am considering going straight into that red, white, and green barrier at the back there. It could happen because it's wet, as you can see, hence the umbrella, obviously. This corner is important because it leads out onto a very long straight. I think potentially one of the longest on the uh, on the calendar. Chunky old curb on the inside. I've been reliably informed I need to launch that in the rain. So that would be fun. So, We've ascended the hill, we've come down the other side, and this is the first big braking zone into the hairpin at the top of the hill. The marshals or the stewards down there can't see, so if you're gonna punch someone, you do it here. Let's go and talk to the local population, see what they think. Excuse me, guys. What gearing should I be running around this track? I think you've got to do it in Welsh. Got to do it in Welsh. I'll go, <coughs> I'll go and learn some Welsh and then come back. <laughs> So, we are now at the bottom of the hill. Here's the kerb. I don't think I want to be there. I want to probably be on the outside and come back. We'll work that out. This is all the things we've got to do um, in the practice sessions this morning. Work out what I'm doing with my lines in the rain. Don't know how it doesn't feel particularly grippy. Although, I must say that this track surface, I mean, I can slide across that pretty easy. Look at this. That's where I'm gonna go, but could just go down there. A couple of joker laps. So much squidge around here. And if you look across here, it looks like a bit of a slalom. Uh, you got right, left, right, left. It's actually really tricky, because if you get the first bit wrong, you sort of out of sequence and you get it all wrong. Tricky little section this, very, very tricky. We'll just go to the final corner. It's got like a chunky curb on it. Okay, here we are, the final corner on the track. And in many ways, similar to Wilton Mill, a 90 degree right-hander with a mountain on the apex. Uh, this one, not quite Everest, uh, as we have at Wilton Mill. This one is more Kilimanjaro, but you can actually just nibble at base camp with your front wheels, as uh, Kai was demonstrating to me yesterday. <laughs> But yeah, that's a, that's a look at GYG, Glanny Gores. That's just a very quick look at it. Uh, let's jump into Saturday practice. Well, actually, just before we do that, got to go and collect our tyres, wet and slicks, which pretty much summarises the weekend because it was mixed weather. So let's get those wets on the cart. And I'll actually put some fuel in. That's a good idea. Rotax engine is on this side. x is on the other side. So we have a new camera angle for this. I've brought a million cable ties with me.
Okay then, let's jump into practice one. You have a closer look at the track, see what it looks like. As you can see, we have the wet tyres on. And uh, this whole day was supposed to be wet all day, supposed to be raining for the whole day. We are in North Wales, so that's kind of somewhat to be expected. So you have this long back hill, long back straight, and then it winds to the right over the crest into the first big braking zone of the lap and i was opting to go for this deep line cutting back but uh, the main thing in this practice session we wanted to do was test a couple of lines especially in this double left here um that's not the line i really wanted to test went a little bit too deep in the middle uh, that was a bit better there as you can see a little bit of oversteer mid turn and then um getting a little bit more comfortable with the first corner really had to turn in early because the of the camber we tried this outside line through this long left and it seemed okay it seemed easier to get a good exit i'm not sure it was much quicker to be honest we had a reference here up behind another cart taking the deeper line he took the narrow line and it was about the same i don't think there was much difference actually between those two lines and uh, these are the kinds of things you really have to work out especially in these mixed conditions you can kind of see through the fog that the track is it's got multiple colors to it which kind of suggests that the uh the track surface is, is wet in places but also a bit dry in other places so you do have to kind of really search for the grip and make sure you know what you're doing ahead of the first race which will be at the end of the day I am absolutely covered. This is the glamour of kart racing. I don't know, I don't think it was... No, uh, I think coming in tight or middle is enough. As long as you get to the outside to rotate before you yeah. fire back up the hill. So, yeah. okay. Weather forecast was that it's going to rain all day today. Uh, it did rain earlier. Tracks. Well, we're going to go out on slicks now, so it's getting dry very quickly. So this is session number two. Um, let's go and do it. Don't be that guy. New car, don't bin it on the first proper race day. If you bin it, I'll be over to slap you. So I was more than pleased to get away from the kid who was going to threaten to slap me and uh, get out for practice number two. This time on slick tyres. And um, of course this, very different. We do have a fair amount of wet patches still, but um, it was definitely the right tyre to be on. Now, one of the things we have to note about this weekend was the fact that we were actually using the Junior Rotax tyres, because there's a shortage of the Senior Max tyres. Uh, so these tyres are actually very, very strange to use in a Senior. They, um, they're about a second a lap slower than the tyres I tested at Wilton Mill. Uh, quite skittish in my opinion, uh, but this was something we had to get used to. This is something that everyone had to get used to because obviously everyone's used to driving the Senior Max tyre. Uh, so this was something to adapt to for this session, for this day, for this race weekend. Um, and uh, doing that on this uh, fairly mixed surface here. And uh, that was the end of the session. So these sessions went by pretty quick, only about seven or eight minutes each. And we only have one more after this one. It was a bit slow to get up to the pace, but it's mostly dry, just damp patches. Just weighed in, 168. That's the first time 
we've weighed in in, in Rotax is about the same. So the weight problem is still a problem. Uh, so I'll just have to drive really well. Lose some of that big old pods. Lose a load of that. Now, as you very much well know, you've probably seen this a billion times, but uh, I entered the Shadow Realm early this season. Um, but at Glanny Gores, there were a couple of other entries as well. First up, we have AC13 Racing here in Junior Rotax. Coming up towards the first corner, gets put towards a wet patch. Wet patch means zero grip. Boom, into the wall. And that was a solid Super GT impression. Next up, we have Zach Racing 13. Just dips two wheels wide over the crest and boom, into the wall backwards. He uh, broke his axle and the seat. After that one, you see the car bobbling about as he tries to drive back. But let's jump into final practice. As you can see, very, very wet indeed. Just standing and studying the, uh, the session now just before us just to see if we can learn a thing or two the lines that we need to be taking so we've had three sessions today all very different you see here look at the different lines through the, uh, through the final corner some going deep some going towards the curb and uh, a lot of us taking sort of a mid sort of approach and uh, you see just how much this spray really does kick up into your face and uh, i can promise you that it's pretty much as bad through the visor so Pretty much all the weather conditions covered in uh, this these three uh, practice sessions here. And that should, theoretically, cover us for the weekend. Uh, but these are the, the conditions I, I wanted to see, really. I think uh, it's been a trend pretty much this year that the lower the grip, the, the better I tend to do. Plus, it is quite fun. If you ignore the fact that you're just getting soaked and getting soaked is quite miserable... If you ignore that it's actually pretty fun racing in the rain um plus combine that with of course the fact that i tend to do better then it's all good in the hood uh, but you see here the lack of grip uh, even on the wet tire the wet tire uh, obviously the right tire to be on on slicks on this you just have absolutely zero grip um but that was it that was the end of practice we've got to go and do the real thing now That was good fun. Yeah? Yeah. Good fun, very wet, as you can probably tell. I don't think the pace was too bad. It'll be interesting to see. I mean, next up is race one, so I don't know where I am in the field. I don't know if I'm in the middle or the back. Maybe not at the front, but we'll find out in the next race. Still down the hill, that'd be even better. I quite like the one I'd say that sector there feels like that's where the big loss is. That's where he's going on the so really, you know it. Oh. Okay, so we just had a look at the telemetry of Dan, ahead of race number one. Um, not too bad, not too far off. I'm in the pack, I'm in, I'm in the middle, so that's a good sign. We just need to work on a couple of little things here and there, uh, mainly like the double downhill left, so I can gain a few taps there. Into race one, I'm starting eighth on the outside, which we don't know how that's going to go. So race one in Rotax, let's go and do it. Okay, this is it guys, our first race in Senior Rotax in the Ultimate Karting Championship. Uh, starting uh, ninth on the grid, on the outside. Uh, no, eighth on the grid, sorry. And we're going to give this a jolly good go. Uh, at this point of the day, not quite as wet as it was in the third practice, but still certainly wet enough for the, uh, for the wet tyre. So let's get out here, try and warm these tyres up as quickly as possible. You can see everyone swaying from left to right and right to left. 
to get some heat into the tyres. And then um, we're going to show the whole warm-up lap here because just around this corner, almost got myself a nice nose cone penalty. Look at this sickening little drift here that I did. I think I did actually graze the back of number 76 there. Um, perhaps showing off a little bit too much. That could have uh, ended in a, in a nose cone penalty quite easily if I had gone in a little bit harder. But here we go then. Uh, heat number one. Eight minutes. Eighth on the grid. Let's see if we can make up some ground here. On the, first, on the run up to the line. Here we go then. So immediately... I'm going to go around the outside. That's the only place I could go. Kai Hunter there on the right-hand side. I'm going to watch out for him throughout the race. Number 95. Someone off on the grass already. I'm going to try and follow him through as much as possible when someone spun around and their wheel has come off. So within two seconds, someone on the grass, someone else doing a 360 with their wheel coming off. Coming down the hill in, uh, then, we are just going to send up the inside of number 76 and move up to six. Place. I'm going to shove him wide on the exit. Absolutely not let him in at all. And then into the long double right. Coming down the hill then. This is the tricky section of the track. This is very, very hard. You've got to get this one right. Otherwise you get it all wrong. And you drop down there onto that, on that turn. Nibble the curb on the exit there. Into the final corner. And someone else has been spun out. Kai Hunter up into third. I'm up into fifth somehow. Started eighth. Went immediately down to ninth. Up into fifth. And we're going to get the run here on uh, number 82 up the inside. We're going to follow Kai, uh, Kai Hunter through. That's me up into fourth already. I mean, that is a pretty good start. So um, we're going to try and follow Kai through as, as, as best we can. But coming down the hill here, perhaps should have looked over my shoulder and covered this move. Because number 82 wants to come back up the inside. And that's rather frustrating. Perhaps should have seen that one coming. But I didn't get the best of launches off the top of the hill. And then this is often what happens. You lose one, you lose two, you lose three. Um, so yeah, when when you go forward, it's, it's all good. But when you go backwards, you very much do go backwards and then people sense weakness. And then before you know it, you've lost three positions. Uh, so down to seven. Okay, still not a disaster. We can still continue in a decent position from here. Up behind number 21 now. And we look for the move up towards the right-hander here at the end of the hill. Not quite. He's going to launch the curb. Is the space going to open up? It's a weird braking zone, this one. Everyone goes narrow. So you can't really send up the inside there. 82 a little bit slow off the turn. 21 goes through. We're going to cover the inside this time around. Perhaps what I should have done on the last lap. But it's easy to say that in hindsight. It's easy to watch the video and say what I should have done. Um, but it's a lot harder when you're out there. And, and, and racing it yourself. Gap doesn't quite materialise there. It's still in 7th place, so at least we haven't lost any here on this lap. Just going to try and size up a move at the end of this lap. Not quite. Final corner is a good place to go for a move, as demonstrated there by the 58. Unfortunately, those two positions there as a result. 74 going through as well. Down to ninth. So, I'm back to where I started, near enough. Or actually, I've lost one from where I started at this point. But uh, there's no problem. I mean, it's our first race. We're just going to try and do the best we can. Uh, so they both send it on number 82. Unfortunately, I couldn't tag along there and go through as well. But we could potentially go for a move here. Yes, we can. We're going to send up the inside, aim for the curb, and take a position back. So we're back to where we started. So a nice aggressive start to this race. Going forward, going backwards, and then back forwards again. So 82 seems a little bit off the pace. We're going to launch that curb. Jesus. Um, I'm just going to try and make as much ground up now as we can. And in these heats... Everything's so mixed up that, you know, you really do have to do as much damage as you can early and then try to pull away from the faster guys who might be stuck behind the slower traffic. Uh, 88 goes through and uh, down the hill here. Is there going to be another move? No, not quite. We did actually gain another position. We are up in seventh at that point there. Uh, I think so, someone retired from the group in front. So this point in eight and then through here into the final couple of corners... You know, try and keep with 88 the best we can. Only a couple of laps left in this race. Um, but then coming into the final corner, we do get done here by another Argenti driver and uh, move down into ninth. But this point here, as you can see from the external shot, quite a sizable gap for myself to the carts behind. And that's that's the, the key thing. If you keep it clean at the, the, sort of the start of the race, 
you can make quite a big gap to a lot of the people. So we're in a safe position here. Uh, not really under threat from the guys behind. So that's good. We're trying to keep with 14 as best we can. They, uh, they are both quicker and that kind of proved to be the case here at the end of the race. End of lap 11. Came through in our first race to finish in ninth position. And, um, you know, it's not a podium or anything. But I think for our first race, we had a nice solid, a nice solid one there without getting a nose cone penalty as seen here and um, finishing the top 10 so I'm actually pretty pleased with how that went overall Be honest, you needed to cover that because I thought you was as good or better at the time, and you'd obviously just done the move back on it, yeah. and then down the hill, we just had to go tight. Yeah. Like I said in the racing, I think tight line they can't overtake you. We'd have yeah. done that because it led to two more than yeah, in that bit. I lost a few seconds. Yeah, yeah. But there was wheels flying off on the first lap, and everything. Oh. Yeah, I've got that on camera. Just <laughs> right in front of me. It was really good. Fun. The whole race was fun. Um, Someone's wheel came off, uh, people spinning everywhere. Uh, I got to fourth at one point. Uh, that was a good first race, I'm really happy with that. The next race starting 19th, I think. So nearer the back, fight the way through the carnage. Um, but yeah, I'm happy. That hill, can you see that hill? Can you, excuse me, C could you? Yeah, that hill, I've been reliably informed by the local population that if you can see that hill it's not going to rain for the next sort of 20 minutes so we're trying to decide what tires to go on i think we're going to go on slicks there you go let's see it oh we'll do fist bumps there we go good luck guys you can say anything super gt viewers what would you say hello viewers super gt Subscribe to him! Subscribe and like subscribe. That's right, subscribe to me, subscribe to me. These nuts! We've got to make sure the sponsors are looking nice. Yeah, so we're raining. It's raining today, so we've got like a clear revisor on. So I can see. Which helps. We have another Fanatec giveaway, number four. This one, the item, it's an amazing item. It's one of these, one of them, one of them. And you want to win one of those. So all you have to do in order to have a chance is head over to my Clips channel, which I've just started, subscribe. But then head over to this video. I took a nap during a car race and leave the funniest comment. The funniest comment will win. Uh, all you got to do, so comment, leave a Twitter handle or an email so I can contact the winner. And then, yeah, good luck. Say something funny and good luck again. Okay, time for the second heat. Starting 19th, as you can see here, very much at the back of the pack. And my GoPro camera is on the cart, but by the fact that we are using the external shot here, you can probably judge something's wrong. We went around for that first warm-up lap, didn't start the race, uh, we had to go around again. This time we are on uh, the slick tyre. Um, so coming across the line for the second time, we are going to start the race this time. And I immediately gain a position, going up the inside there, very, very, very nice indeed. Watch number 82, just looks over his shoulder and then just sort of just forgets that the track exists and takes a trip to the grass. Um, okay, so just trying to make as many positions up in the early melee as we can. Then I get tangled up here with a cart stuck on my bumper. And unfortunately, number 26 gets thrown off onto the grass on the outside. I can promise you that I was just trying to turn, but my, I basically had another cart stuck on my inside. So it didn't really work. Uh, Kai Hunter here, going to go for the move. Uh, I mean, Kai, he's a DHR driver as well. Very, very accomplished. Uh, one of the fastest, if not the fastest, in the country in a road tax. Very, very fast guy indeed. A couple of laps later, we're not going to dwell on this race long, too long because of the lack of GoPro. We did actually manage to catch up with a couple of people. Number 23 here, 
I seemed a little bit off the pace in this race. So we just sent it up the inside of the hairpin and uh, gained a position. By this point here, we're about 14th, 15th. They're now following number 70 through the final sequence of corners. See if we can get a move done. Yes, we can. Into the final turn. We gain another position there. So yeah, about 13th, 14th by this point. And uh, let's not forget, we started 19th, so it's not too bad. That's the end of the race. And it wasn't too bad of a race, actually. I hope you got that, because my SD, my SD card wasn't in the camera. Now, you can subscribe to Matt Amy. <laughs> Felt alright. I mean, didn't have the pace, but it was fun. So I don't actually know where I finished until I just checked the results. Turns out, I finished ninth out of 22 because we had quite a lot of people with penalties. It's another ninth, so two ninths out of 22 on our first day in Rotax. I think I'll take that, that's a really good, I'm happy with it. Let's go into day two, get some more ninths, eighths, sevenths, sixths, firsts, if all goes well. Uh, but yeah, good day. I'm going to go and drink water now. Do we get in the video? Yeah. <laughs> Day two, it's now Sunday. I've had my water. So we had two ninths yesterday. We've got one more heat and then the two finals. Um, what I did want to do first is run around the track and see how quickly I can do it. So let's whip on this very strange looking chest mount and um, do a lap running okay we're gonna wait until that goes to 20 8 20 and then that's the start what are you reckon in four minutes i think four minutes right here we go oh you've gone past me mate <laughs> On. Give me some slipstream. Go in front of me, give me some slipstream. Oh. Oh. What was that? Three minutes twenty. 3.20 3.20 I'm glad the last act was all downhill <laughs> Jacob was giving me slipstream 23? Probably gave me 10 seconds, eh? Can you press record on the GoPro? I'm done It's on, yeah no, cool. <laughs> Just gonna double check that the SD card is there It's there There it is just confirming that there is an SD card in the camera. Okay then, so this was our first time on track on the Sunday. So every Sunday, at the first thing you just do a three minute warm up basically, or three lap warm up, just to make sure the car actually works. And it was working, but um, a couple of Shadow Realm entries here. Oh my goodness, I hope his neck's all right after that. That looked pretty atrocious. We carried on just fine. Meanwhile, at the nearest field, my cameraman was having a bit of fun. Do any of you know Super GT? You know Super GT? Shameful Ranmers? Uh, part of Quadrant. Are you like a, a, a channel member? Yeah? Okay, well thanks very much for your time. See you later. Ugh. Don't do the big zoom. <laughs> okay, here we go then. Heat number three. We have the camera on this time with an SD card in it. I'm such a good content creator, aren't I? Okay, right, let's do this properly now. As you can see, a nice, beautiful day here in Wales. We have the slick tyres on. We're starting seventh on the grid. Let's try and get a nice, good launch off the line. We've done it. Right on the back of the car in front. Immediately we're going to gain a position there, courtesy really just being on the inside. We're going to stick to the inside. 
And uh, that car on the outside kind of just has nowhere to go. Up into fifth. And then keep it narrow for the hairpin. Make sure you don't get past there. So that was a good start. Side seventh, gain two, up into fifth already. We'll take that. Now it's really just a case of just trying to keep up with these guys as long as possible. And delaying the inevitable. Uh, 13 laps in this race. So it's not exactly... It is, I mean, it is a sprint. Very much is a sprint. But when your neck is dying, uh, you'd wish it was many laps less. Through the final corner, end of lap one. That's a solid first lap. And it's, I mean, it, it continues the trend of the season so far, which is I start races pretty well. There's no doubt about that. It's just the lack of overall pace does catch up with you throughout the race. Um, so we get sent there by number 26 and then 74 following through. You see there, that happens a lot. One person goes through and then another one goes through. So you, you don't always lose one. You always look, tend to lose two positions. And... Uh, that's why I suppose you've got to make sure you're fast and that you get good so that you don't get overtaken. Uh, so dropping down to 7th, that's okay. Back to where we started. Uh, going to try and go around the outside here. Is this going to work? No, not quite. Didn't quite make that work. Missed the apex completely of the final corner. Don't know what I was doing there. Uh, but through, through turn 1, lap number 3. The gap's just beginning to spread out a little bit now. And uh, here comes Sean Butcher flying through. Very, very quick guy. So... The, the race win in the final will be really fought between Kai Hunter, Sean Butcher and Lewis Gilbert. So we can try and follow this guy through as quickly as possible because he's very, very quick. I'm going to try and go for the move here and it just doesn't quite work. Um, just two into one didn't really work there. Um, we're going to both probably say that we both turned across each other. But ultimately, there you go. Just things happen. We drop down to 17th, 18th problem is when you go onto the grass you don't have much grip for the next couple of corners and uh, we lose another position down into 19th so that was a very disastrous little corner there uh, so we've gone from what was looking like a really good result you know, up to 7th down to 19th but you look, look at this right look how close it is just in front this is exactly the reason why I, jo uh, why I joined Rotax because the, the racing in the midfield is so much closer and uh, I wasn't really getting much of this in X30 at all uh, so we're going to send up the inside at the hairpin. That's a, that's a nice little tasty move there, if I may say so myself. Uh, coming back down the hill, though, I tried to cover it off, and it didn't quite work. Unfortunately, there's a bit of contact, so I lose the position again. Um, but this really just demonstrates um, the Rotax category, category. Just very, very aggressive. There's lots of fighting. There's always someone to race against, and uh, it's the main reason why I swapped. And... Um, as much as I love the X30, I think the X30 is a great cart to drive. Albeit a bit weird as we're going to go for this move here into turn one. Um, I think the Rotax class, just the way, just the amount of people that are in it and the way that the racing is, I think it's probably better for this channel. It's a lot more interesting racing. As you see, just look how close it is here. Up behind uh, number 70 now, coming down the hill, and two cars are going to get tangled here through the long left. We're going to gain two positions up into 16th. So in many senses, uh, race one and two, we just kept our nose clean and finished ninth twice. Um, but here, uh, couldn't quite manage three races in a row with uh, a clean record. So we dropped immediately down to 19th, back into 16th now, to try and uh, rescue a couple more positions if possible. And let's not forget, people could get a five second penalty for the nose cone infringement. So you've got to try and keep as close as you can to as many people as you can. Up, uh, up now behind uh, Alex Baker, our DHR teammate. Uh, number 70 there, making a mistake at the hairpin and losing the position. I couldn't quite capitalise on it. Might have gone for the send there down the hill. Wasn't quite brave enough to pull it off. Um, this is the final lap now. Just sizing up a potential move. There's a car that's pulling over to the side there. Um, but the main thing here really is to try to gauge a move into the final corner. If not out of the final corner. It's a short run to the, to the finish line. Let's see if we can do it. We're through the final corner. We're going to try to get the run to the line. Almost do it, but not quite. So we're going to finish that race in 16th position. Uh, 1-6-6. So that scale those scales are like three kilos lighter so we are actually lighter than i thought 
Still won't, still too fat though. Yeah, it's okay. Got tangled up on the first or second lap. Lost like 10 positions. But I think, I think my grid should be okay. Should maybe like 13 or 12 or something for the final. So yeah, it's tough work. It's getting really hot out there. My neck was going, but. Okay, time for the pre-final. So you add up your results in heat one, two, and three. Whoever's done the best in those three races starts on pole. Whoever did the worst starts last, etc. We start in we're starting tenth. I think that's pretty good. Tenth out of twenty-two on our first round in Rotax. I'll take that. But let's see if we can keep the top 10 as we cross the line to begin 12 laps oh, sorry 12 minutes of racing so immediately keeping our position we're going to try to get the inside here yes we can cut across to the inside make sure we're on the inside for the next corner as well and then that is a nice uh, bit of driving there from 58 just to keep it around the outside to keep his position i'm going to go narrow here into the double left try and keep and um, consolidate our position here Back up the hill, and then you go back down it again at the end of the lap. The uh, the twisty and very technical sector three is beginning to kick off in the group just up in front. From 74 there, Tristan Rennie getting run a little bit wide. He's going to lose a couple of positions. We're going to try and keep with him the best we can. It's about as best as I've taken turn one all weekend. Still losing a bit of ground down the back straight though. A bit of human DRS. Onto lap four. And I just didn't quite have the pace that I would have liked. Number 12 goes through at the top of the hill. I'm back to where I started in 10th. Um, but yeah, by this point of the weekend, I was just beginning to struggle physically. Um, it does take its toll. The long corners, a lot of long right-handers this track. And my neck, it wasn't gone, but I was, I was just aching. Aching a lot. Um, combine that with... Uh, can I get any more excuses in there? I mean, there's plenty of excuses I could get. But, I mean, the main thing was just I'm just not experienced enough. I just need to drive a lot more in these cars. So losing another position there to number six. Uh, sitting now in 12th. And um, a little bit later, losing another one down to 13th. I would say, though, that I probably out-qualified myself. I'm going to lift up the uh, the flap on the radiator there. The car was just beginning to overheat slightly. I probably out-qualified myself in qualifying for, for the final. I don't know why the camera is so shaky here. I didn't really remember what happened there. But we lose another position. It seemed like an earthquake was going on at that precise moment. Um, but I think qualifying 10th was probably ahead of where my pace suggested. Oh my god, what is going on there? And um, we come through, end of lap uh, 16, to finish in 14th which is probably about where I deserve to finish based on my pace in the pack. Once again, another race without a penalty in the nose cone, so that's a good thing. A whole weekend so far without a nose cone infringement. Ooh, that was tough. Just didn't really have the pace, um, dropped back. I don't know where I was, like 15th or something. Uh, I was exhausted as well. But one more race, see if, we, see if we can do in the last one. The weekend was nearly over, but we arrive at the very end with one more race left to do. The tyres were pretty much sent to the shadow run by this point, not much life left over there. But we had to get back out and do one more race. I wanted to speak with Kai just to give... Let's see if you can give me a little bit more advice before we get out there for the final race. Drivers! Senior drivers, please! Really, really well most of the time up to the pre-final and the wheels started coming off. Yeah. Awesome. 
Okay, it is now time for the final race of the weekend. Courtesy of finishing 14th in the pre-final. We start 14th on the grid in the main final. So let's see if ideally we could just move forward. I think that's the main thing. Just try and gain some positions in this race. Bring it home to the end. I just get run, just get uh, slightly squeezed wide there and lose a couple of positions. Um, well, back to 14th. Try and go around the outside here. Is this possible? The space is there. Doesn't quite materialize. We've got to keep 14th here. 88 gets run wide. And once you're out of position in one of these classes, it is pretty brutal. We're going to run in wide here. Um, so yeah, the, the racing is it's just very savage. It's very savage racing. As soon as you're off the line or you know out of the train, no one really cares. You're just going to get run wide. You're going to get overtaken not once, but twice by three times, four times maybe. Uh, so you've got to be bang on it every lap. If you, if you start falling backwards, people sense your weakness and then, you know, they will just prey on you. So you've got to be very, very on it, uh, to put it simply. So we've gained one position there, really courtesy of the 88, just dropping down quite a bit down the order. 21 laps, fairly lengthy race, 14 minutes. Lifting up the flap here, let a little bit more air into the radiator to cool it down. Ideally, you want to keep it well below 60 degrees and we can see all that information on the dash i don't even i don't even quite see that but you can trust me that i could see it during the race um a little bit later on lap six number 88 recovering from his early drop just coming back through points forward to suggest let's work together to try and catch up i was more than happy to oblige but uh, i didn't quite have the pace at this point in the weekend to keep up struggling with the grip on these d2 tires the junior tires I found them a, uh, a little bit weird to drive, uh, but I'm not sure how I would have got on with senior tyres, to be honest. Retirement there, so we gained uh, position up back up into 13th. Then this is where things got very weird, because my radiator basically came loose from the cart, and uh, the camera is attached to the radiator, therefore it's swinging all over the place. And I can tell you that this was very much a big distraction. So every time I was going into a certain corner, it was flopping about all over the place um, in my peripheral vision. Um, we did manage to gain a position here. Number 70 with some sort of mechanical failure. Uh, so we go up into 12th. And that's where we would finish. By the end of the race, bringing it home, we've gained two positions there on that final race. 14th up into 12th. Look at that. Look at the radiator. You see it? I don't know. I mean, that's a bit snap. It was like that the whole race. A bit of a new camera angle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hard work. I, 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 did, I had the pace to keep up with the group in front. I did like a 43 0, which was a good lap, but. I was getting 40. I was getting 40. But um, I just couldn't do it like for the whole race. I was like mid 43s, most of it, so I just had don't have the what's it called um consistency yeah that Sorry. every time i break it was like flipping round and then i turn left and it would go back again so the almost killed me about seven times <laughs> yeah. yeah i was like, I was like oh. <laughs> that was you behind me yeah because i saw in the corner of my eye a couple of times i was like oh, it was there. i was all over the place I, I ultimately i my fitness wasn't quite there it's a hot day long corners like through the left for the long right. It stayed on the radiator. It stayed on the radiator, but the radiator hasn't stayed on the car. <laughs> A reminder to subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to this channel. What's really weird is that tyres get worse and worse and worse over the weekend, but my best lap kept staying about 43-1. So I stay the same where everyone else gets slower. That's just kind of weird, but 12th on our first first time in Rotax. We're gonna do an outro. Um, it's been a great weekend. I can't keep that up. It's been good fun, everyone. It's been good fun. First time in Rotax. Well, for, for 15 years, anyway. Finished 12th, got some solid points. And I think we had some good battles. We had some good battles. So that was the main thing. Really enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed it. Fanatec giveaway. All the instructions 
in the description. Quadrant Legends. They're, they're sponsoring the season, don't forget. But yeah, next round, couple of weeks, Shennington. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Subscribe, la la la, la 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 la, all that stuff. Goodbye. Yeah.